It's a live stream from Parts Unknown, and this week we are live on even more platforms. We are live on Twitch. We are live on YouTube. We are live on Instagram. We are live on Twitter or X or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Mr. Hartgrave is everywhere simultaneously, and I am excited about Dynamite tonight. There is an exciting card happening here. This looks like a pay-per-view. I'm not even kidding, guys. This looks crazy. Will Ospreay versus Shibata in the main event. Let's talk about that. Takeshita versus Swerve. Let's talk about that. And Private Party versus Young Bucks. Oh my God, I'm excited. That's one of the, that's got to be the match that I'm most excited about is Young Bucks versus Private Party. I'm like personally invested in that one. Close friends with Mark Quinn, straight up. Like, we chat all the time. I'm only slightly kidding. I am excited. I'm just excited that that match is happening again because that was, that's a classic AEW match from 2019. A straight banger. And it is back. I really feel like the tag team division is here and represented fully again. I feel like we're going to enter a new era or return to an era of amazing tag team wrestling on AEW. Now, in addition to all that, we have a huge, a huge four-way match. And the winner is going to get a shot against Monet at Dynasty. That's crazy. We got Statlander, Sky Blue, Anna J, and Willow Nightingale all facing off. And then more friends of the show. We have the Undisputed Kingdom versus the Best Friends. And this tag team championship is so interesting. That's probably what I'm going to want to spend the most time talking about on this live stream is going to be that tag team championship. But okay, let's see who's here, who's in the chat, and what we are talking about now. I see my chat has been popping off. It's good to see you. Let's see here. I, see, I lost some chat. I have to pick it back up, but uh, we'll, we'll find it over here. Okay, lots of people saying hi. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Okay, let me get... We do have some AEW Fight Forever. Don't worry, Fight Forever dorks. We're going to talk about Fight Forever too, just a tiny little bit, you know, as much as I possibly can. We're going to run some matches, all the matches I can run. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I can run any of the matches that are actually going to happen tonight. I don't have, there's no Will Ospreay, there's no Shibata, there's no Takeshita, there's, there's no Private Party, there's no Sky Blue, there's no Willow Nightingale, there's no Undisputed Kingdom in AEW Fight Forever. Ha however, we'll do our best. What we can kind of get into is the, the Tag Team Championship. We can simulate some of those matches. Like, we can, we can check out the next match that's going to happen, like, this is the first, I, I told you, the tag team match is what I'm most interested in. The tag team match is what I'm most interested in right now. That's what is riveting me. Who do you guys think is going to win this thing? Young Bucks versus, versus Private Party. Remember last time, it was Private Party. Private Party took the win. Are they going to do it again? Are there going to be shenanigans? What is going to happen? My chat says impossible. Are you sure it's impossible for Private Party to win again? I think it's possible. But it doesn't... I don't know if we're going to have history repeat like that. I kind of thought the Young Bucks were just a lock to win this thing. But there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of good tag teams involved in this. It's kind of nuts. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on. Chat saying bucks but dirty. I mean, that's what I think. I think they're going to pull all the crap out on Private Party. Private Party is going to take a loss, but it's going to—it's not going to be clean. Will Ospreay, 100%, 2024 Wrestler of the Year. You can call it now. Man, the match between Ospreay and Shibata is going to be an instant classic. Every match on this card looks really good. There doesn't seem to be a bad matchup happening. I don't see one. 
The Bucks will probably beat Private Party this time. That's what I'm seeing. Young Bucks win. Maybe Private Party will win, but then the EVPs will do something crazy, get it thrown out. I mean, the end result is that the Young Bucks are going to move on. Win or lose, I feel like the Young Bucks are going to move on. The Undisputed beats the fake best friends. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do the Undisputed really... I don't think the Undisputed... They, they kind of feel like an odd man out. They already have some tag belts. They already have the Ring of Honor belts. How far do we need to push them in this thing? Now, we had an upset earlier last week where the infantry beat House of Black. Did anyone see that coming? Did anyone see? No one saw the infantry beat the House of Black. Okay, because the infantry beat the House of Black, I think we're almost guaranteed that Private Party's not going to beat the Young Bucks. Right? It feels like we've already seen the upset. We're not going to have a whole bracket of upsets, right? I got to go over to this bracket. I got to look at this bracket over here because that's what I'm, I'm obsessed with this bracket now. This tournament to me is more exciting than the Continental Classic. This tag team tournament, I think I kind of, I kind of hand waved it back when uh, Sting and Darby won uh, won the belts, and I was like, ah, they'll probably do one of those crappy tournaments I don't care about. Well, guess what? I care about the tournament now. I got really invested. I got crazy invested in this tournament real fast. I almost think that... I almost think... Ricky Starks and Big Bill could win this whole thing. Don't you guys kind of think that Ricky Starks and Big Bill might just win this whole thing, get their belts back, and, like, legitimize themselves as a team? Could be kind of cool. Yo, the infantry are good. I didn't see them winning, but they are really good. I think the infantry are definitely a team to keep your eye on, and that's what these tag tournaments do. That's what it did with Private Party. Private Party pulled out that first win, and everyone was like, this is a team you got to keep your eye on. Infantry now getting that same rub. But yeah, this tournament's exciting. I like this tournament. So, all right, who's going? Let's assume the Young Bucks is going over Private Party, though. Let's just assume that. Number one, because it seems possible given the storyline and everything that's going on with the Young Bucks. Also, I don't know, guys. Private Party might win again. And here's why I'm just going to throw... I'm going to throw out... In the, before I settle on the Young Bucks winning this, I want to throw out that the Young Bucks might lose because I kind of see the Young Bucks and Okada just going into the trio scene. I kind of see with Okada here and the Young Bucks like, do Young Bucks really care about the tag belts right now? Or are they just going to go over to trios with Okada? Because they're such a strong trios team. Literally one of the best trios teams I've ever seen operate are the Young Bucks and Okada. I had no idea I wanted that until they gave it to me, and now I can't get enough of it. It's absolutely crazy. It's absolutely crazy. All right, so let's assume... All right, let's go back. Let's assume the Young Bucks are going to beat Private Party just because number two... I, I don't have private party in this game, so I can't simulate a match. I'm going to assume that the Young Bucks win because uh, I, I can't really move forward. I don't have private party here, unfortunately. So they're going to go against either the Undisputed Kingdom or, as we like, as we have dubbed them, the fake best friends. Which honestly seems kind of like, that, that kind of seems like a probable outcome. And then who wins that? Let's assume the fake best friends and the Young Bucks are facing off in the next in the next fight. I feel like the team of Orange Cassidy and Trent. It's a good team. I'm not mad at the fake best friends. I've seen some people say that, you know, they don't want them to win. They want the original best friends. I mean, look, the original best friends, I agree that they should get, you know, Trent and Chuck should get gold at some point. They've been here forever. They have put in the work. 
They've been solid guys. You know, the, the crowd likes them. Oh, we can actually put in proper Trent. Oh, my God. We can actually do one thing proper in here. We can have bald Trent. It's unbelievable. I can have someone's current look in the game. It's AEW Fight Forever, and it doesn't suck for a moment. All right, let's take this over to Modern Dynamite, which is no longer modern. <laughs> modern Dynamite, which is now outdated. <laughs> How does this work, guys? We've added multiple pay-per-views that aren't in the game. This game is going down. <laughs> this game has already gone downhill. This is bad. So this is an interesting match. I like this match. This looks like fun. I mean, Young Bucks versus the Undisputed Kingdom would be great, too. But this looks pretty good. Orange Cassidy and Trent versus the Young Bucks. The Bucks would beat the fake best friends. I don't know. I mean, let, let's see what AEW Fight Forever has to say about this match. I have no idea. I have no idea how this goes down. I love a good tag team match. And not only this one going to be good, it's going to be great. Private Party should have been in this game. I agree, chat. I agree that Private Party should have been in this game. Look at how broken this arena is. Why does only one of the screens work? I told them they need to fix that. They charged money for this arena, and only one of, like, the seven screens works. Can you believe how janky that is? That's insane. What is wrong with this game? Have all the screens work. I still can't get over that. I'm still mad about that. It's way past the point where I should be mad about that, but I'm still upset about that. I went back. I've been watching a lot of old Ring of Honor, and the Young Bucks did wear zebra print ring gear. This is a look that they used to rock. I was right when I made this, and I was like, this seems like something the Young Bucks would have worn. They did wear this. It was a prominent look of theirs for like a year, maybe more but they absolutely do have zebra print outfits. This is accurate. Will they ever bring them back? I don't know. I love these outfits. I thought they looked great in these. Young Bucks in the old school outfit, man, that was amazing. I mean, I love the new gimmick though. Don't get me wrong. I love what they're doing now. I didn't like what happened in between. I don't know what that look was. It, I don't really think it was over. I, I don't know, it was goofy. Yeah, there was a few teams missing when this game launched, and Private Party's definitely one of them. It probably didn't help that, you know, uh, Mark was out with injury when they were developing the game. I don't, I don't really know, though. I don't even know if that's a good excuse. I feel the Private Party just got kind of dissed, man. Who's in there? Who's, like, a new tag team that's in there, though? Do, do we have any, like brand new tag teams that are in there like we don't have top flight we don't have private party they kind of focused on the wrestling you know veterans we got a couple of new guys in there we got hook in there we got Danhausen right they're really new I'd have to look at the roster but they, they got a lot of guys that have been wrestling for many many years in this game they kind of focused on that and there's not a lot of fresh faces to the point where they even went back and got, you know, they got the big show in there. They got Cody in there, CM Punk, people who aren't even with the company. Like, they tried to get as many people who've had really long careers, which makes sense because there's more chance for people to know them. I love Private Party, but is Private Party really going to sell your video game? Like, probably not, unfortunately. Like... Just because people don't know them, they haven't been wrestling for long enough. It, up against guys like, you know, the best friends who have been wrestling for much longer than their time in AW. Like, you guys got to go back and check out Ring of Honor. I keep saying it, but it's true. All of the original roster of AW pretty much comes directly from Ring of Honor, and they were working in Ring of Honor for like five years or more. 
AEW was going for five years before AEW started. You missed a lot of it, guys. The Acclaimed, we, we did finally get the Acclaimed, and they are, the Acclaimed might be the newest team. It seems like we're getting new teams in downloadable content. It seems like for the on-disc roster, we got legends or veterans. And then for the downloadable content, we're kind of like, ah, we'll get some new guys in here. The Acclaimed is a good call out, though. That's, a, that's one of the newer teams. So the Acclaimed, Hook, Danhausen. I don't know about Jamie Hayter. I kind of feel like she's had a longer career than we would have thought. I think um, Ty Conte, Ty Mello. She's really new. She's in this, right? Is she, she's in this, isn't she? I don't even know if she's in this. Oh, my God. I can't, I can't remember if she's in it. <laughs> I don't, maybe she's not. I don't think she is in it. I think she got her start. I think she counts. Oh, Jade Cargill counts. Jade Cargill's first uh, first wrestling organization was AEW, right? Oh, locomotion. Northern Light Suplex. It's my favorite move. I love it when he does that. It's such a face move, though. It's so cool. It's hard not to get the audience behind it. So when they're working heel, he doesn't do it as much. Butcher and the Blade are kind of, um, uh, the Butcher and the Blade aren't in the game, but they're kind of veterans. I feel like they're veterans. I think they've been around a lot longer than AEW. Yes, Danhausen did beat Matt Cardona like over the weekend, right? I think in um, Combat Zone Wrestling. CZW is that the is that the three letters? But yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Matt Cardona is a big deal on the Indies. I don't follow indie stuff very much, but I know that Matt Cardona is a big deal on the Indies. I did not notice Juice Robinson in the video short. Oh, Juice Robinson walked by at the pool. That's hilarious. Ty Conte is an AEW Fight Forever. That might be one of the strangest additions to Fight Forever. Hold up. Why is Ty Conte in this game but Private Party isn't? All right, now I got beef. <laughs> you know why, why Private Party isn't in this game? Because they didn't have the budget to properly animate Gin and Juice, okay? That finisher is too cool, and they didn't have the budget to animate it. The uh, Young Bucks and the Fake Best Friends are putting on a great match. Oh! Why didn't Trent hold that for the cover? I forget what Trent Finisher is called. I like the way that one looks, though. That's a cool finisher. Oh, no! Young Bucks win. We knew it was going to happen. We knew the Young Bucks would win. I feel like that, I mean, I feel like that's where it's all headed. I feel like on the left side of the bracket, it's going to be the Young Bucks. It's going to be the Young Bucks on the left side of the bracket. I'd, it would be hard to convince me otherwise. I mean, we'll find out tonight. Look, if the Young Bucks beat Private Party tonight, they're beating the second team. I cannot see the under, I, I, though, of course... With the pay-per-view being named Dynasty, maybe it's time for the kingdom to do stuff. I don't know. I don't know what the whole Dynasty pay-per-view name implies. Is MJF coming back for Dynasty? I don't know, man. I meant to make a video on the channel about MJF, but I just I couldn't find the time or the right people to do it. It didn't feel like a video I wanted to make on my own. There's a lot of speculation if MJF is going to end up in WWE or end up back in AEW. I almost feel with the pay-per-view name of Dynasty, it's teasing that he's coming back. It feels MJF-y. 
if that's a thing something can feel, it feels MJF y. I'll tell you what, if MJF does not appear at the end of this pay-per-view, it will be pretty disappointing. It's time for him to come back. We we miss him. All right, so Young Bucks are going to end up on the left side of this bracket. Let's just assume it'll be the Young Bucks over on the left. Because it just kind of seems right seems right to me so who's going to end up over on the right side of the bracket who are they going to go against at dynasty and I'm not sold on how that turns out I don't know if the young bucks need this the young bucks have a long history of not winning the belt they have a long history of going for the belts and losing them they're, they're really too generous in my opinion, I don't know what their deal is, how, why they're allergic to the uh, the tag belts, but it does seem like they are. Chat saying that MJF might need six more months of recovery. That's wild. Is that official? See, I need Rain Dragon to make the video with me. He sounds like the first guy who might actually know what he's talking about. I, sometimes I feel all the internet speculation is just that. It's like a, just a bunch of junk that people say. And I didn't want to I didn't want to just add to the heap of junk that's being said about MJF for like no reason. I wanted to make sure there was some basis in reality for it. I would not be opposed to MJF walking through the doors of the WWE at WrestleMania though. That would be awesome. But I don't know if I really buy it. All right, right side of the bracket. We got infantry versus FTR. There's no way the infantry is going all, all the way to the end. I do not feel the infantry is going to go all the way to the end. They might end up in the semifinal. Do you think they'll beat FTR? That's crazy. What happened to um, John Moxley and Claudio? Weren't they in this? Did I miss something? Did the best friends beat John Moxley and Claudio? When the hell did that happen? Wait, wait, when the hell did the best friends beat uh, John Moxley and Claudio? Is that real? Did I watch that but, like, not see it? Did I go blind? Hold on, chat. Help me out. I don't remember that. Did that actually happen? that true I can't believe that that's absolutely nuts I thought they were going to go to the end I honestly thought it was going to be like the Young Bucks versus Claudio and uh, and Moxley I guess, I guess the, the best friends did beat them now that I remember it, I, I was shocked it was on like collision though right that's why I didn't cover it I feel like maybe I should make videos about Collision as well. It was kind of an upset victory. I, I as From what I recall, it was shocking. Wait, John Moxley and Claudio aren't in this? They were never in this? I could have swore that they were a team in this. They're doing. I know that John Moxley went and did an um, <laughs> did an amateur jujitsu competition and got like tapped out in like two seconds. People don't understand how tough that sport is, though. They were being really mean to him. That's not nice. Like that's a tough sport. You get one of these young jujitsu guys, dude. They're they're vicious. John Moxley might be an uh, you know serious uh, serious fighter but he's also kind of an old dude now you know they were never in the tournament that's wild that blows my mind I, I thought they were in the tournament I'm having a Mandela effect okay I don't know where I got that idea they started teaming together I, I could have swore it was talked about 
That's wild. All right. So it won't be them. Infantry are going all the way. That's impossible. Well, there's only one match I can simulate. I don't have Top Flight. I don't have Ricky Starks and Big Bill. I do have FTR. So I think the most obvious outcome is going to be Young Bucks versus FTR again. It's a great match. It's just a great match. And I hear that there is some mild uncertainty about the future of FTR due to legal issues with Cash Wheeler. However, I don't really buy into that. I don't really think there's an issue there. I, I don't know. I guess it came out the guy he pulled the gun on was a cop or something. Which does sound like that would complicate things a little bit. But uh, I don't know. I mean, this is a classic match. They've run this. This would be the fourth time we've done Young Bucks versus FTR. That's a lot of Young Bucks versus FTR. But uh, there's nothing wrong with it. And then this would be a dynasty, which we do not have an arena for. We do not have a dynasty. Which is unfortunate. I guess we can just do it at the beach. Let's do it at the beach to be goofy. Let's show off these amazing new beach arenas. I wish I could turn off disqualifications and have the hardcore. Can you, you could only do a hardcore match at the beach if, uh, if you do a singles match, I guess. That's sad. It's absolutely the tragic. The contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Fans have been waiting months for this tag team dream match. Making their way to the ring. <laughs> My producer's FTR. upset that FTR didn't join the Bang Bang Gang. Excuse, how does that work? What is the name? What is this team you're creating? They should have more stupid arenas like this in Fight Forever. This is probably one of the cooler things they've done is this uh, is this dumb arena out on the beach. It's just kind of it's kind of stupid. I like it. We could do more stuff like this. You could have one in outer space, you know, for funsies. Top of a building. What's some other wild stuff you could end up with? Medieval castle. I don't know. You know, you can get crazy with it. Nightclub. Let's get private party and get the nightclub. Why not? Bucks versus FTR be pointless. They need to do something new in the tag division. I mean, I kind of agree. That's why I think Ricky Starks versus uh, Ricky Starks and Big Bill. Take it all the way. Bring it back. It's not new. It's just getting back to what they were doing. I mean, I kind of miss Ricky Starks and Big Bill. We haven't seen him for a minute. Not going to lie. Didn't think I was going to say that, but here I am. Kind of miss it. Top Flight would be cool. Just put the belts on Top Flight. Have Top Flight beat, um, have Top Flight beat the Young Bucks and then go into a program with Private Party. Let's go. Chat's informing me that MJF was in the Iron Claw. I did know that. I think everybody knew that. I have not seen it yet, though. I'm looking forward to seeing that movie someday. I need to get the time and then watch that movie. Are we going to see Young Bucks versus Edge and Christian at All In? Gosh, I hope so. We need to see Edge and Christian team up in a ladder match somewhere, right? I think Edge and Christian versus Private Party and Young Bucks. Throw them all in. I mean, they really missed the opportunity to run back the Hardys versus Edge and Christian while they're, I mean, it looks like the Hardys are out. Everything I've been seeing is indicating that the Hardys are going back to the E. It looks like things are not agreeable and they're going to end up back there. I don't know. The Hardys have just had such a rough time in AEW. 
Matt Hardy, when Matt Hardy came into AEW, it was so good and so funny. So many fun things were happening when Matt Hardy first joined AEW. And it all went off the rails the moment he took that concussion. Oh my God. That boy landed on his head on the concrete and just everything went off the rails after that. It's tragic. Bingo hall, yeah. Give us, give us the bingo hall. Ah, man, that's messed up. We don't need AEW to dunk on itself. I mean, more Joey Janela venues. I mean, this is literally the Joey Janela venue. Oh, the Jericho boat. The Jericho boat. It would be really cool to get the Jericho's. The Jericho's arena is probably what should have happened instead of this beach. Maybe that's what they wanted to do, but we ended up with the beach instead. But man, the Jericho boat would be cool. Yeah, Jeff's uh, incident in AEW did not help. I think they were geared up to do bigger things before that happened. That's very unfortunate that that went down. Parking lot. Yeah, outside Daly's place would be a great place for an arena, right? Kind of that outside parking lot feel. You can still have the uh, the ring, but you can have cars around the outside. That would be really. That would actually be a really cool one. Parking lot arena, just like not actual. You know, not actual places that they've been, but things that kind of remind you of that. Like this kind of can remind you of the the Jericho's. That kind of thing. A parking lot arena would remind you of some of the uh, parking lot brawls that they had. They could have some fun with that. That would be a good one. That's actually solid. Parking lot definitely at the top of my list. Next time I do this live stream, I have to move this microphone. I have this uh, microphone stand that goes right in front of my chat. That's why I keep looking over here One, to get around that. Two. But I could probably move that next time. If I'm smart, I'll move that. I don't know how smart I am. Now. Am I is my frame rate okay? I think my frame rate's okay. Hey, everybody on Instagram. Do we have anybody out there on Instagram? I don't know if I can see you on Instagram. I know I can see my chat from Twitch, and I know I can see my chat from YouTube. Is there anyone out there on Instagram? Um, can my producer, Rain Dragon, just like drop me a message on Instagram and see if it comes through on here? I might not be able to see it. I don't know how the integration goes. But I'm sorry if I don't see you Instagram people. I've meant to say hi. I, I meant to stream to you for the last couple of weeks, but I wasn't able to figure out the technology. I just now got it figured out. I finally figured out what I needed to do to go live on Instagram. So it's good to see you all. Yeah, it would be cool to be able to do power bombs into parked cars and stuff, crazy things like that. That would be really neat in this game. I don't know if we're going to get it, though. That sounds, like, ambitious, right? That definitely sounds a little ambitious. You know, this week, I'm just happy that I did get it to go live on Instagram. Maybe next week, I'll figure out how I can interact with you on Instagram. <laughs> it's baby steps, okay, guys? It's really baby steps with me. I'm live there. I'll figure it out. I hope if you're typing me messages, I'll be able to catch them later. I'm glad you're enjoying the streams. I actually saw that a lot of people um, last week, I got to apologize. I was a little down. I was like, there's not enough people here live. 
And then I saw after the fact, um, uh, over a thousand people checked out the, the replay. So now I'm not so grumpy. Okay, now I'm a lot less grumpy about it. Now that I understand, you know, a good thousand people are going to watch this. Hey, I'm all good. I'm going to try to be in a much better mood, okay? Sorry about last week. All right, so yeah, that's a good um, that's a good call. The four-way women's match. Statlander, Sky Blue, Anna J, Willow Nightingale. We think Nightingale's going to come out on top against Monet for the pay-per-view. Makes sense to me. They worked together recently. I think Monet is going to want to pick that win back up. You know, she dropped to Nightingale because she was injured and, and dropped the belt to her. And so I think it would be a good uh, way to establish yourself in AW to take that win back off of Nightingale. Kind of a, I, I don't know, is that a face versus face kind of match? I, I think so. Unless Monet wants to heal on Nightingale, which she might want to do. I'm still waiting for confirmation from Rain Dragon whether he has typed something to me on Instagram. I'm not getting that confirmation. I think he's left the chat. Maybe he's on Instagram now. Sadly, I might not be able to see that. If you can, uh, well, I'm letting people know. Actually, I could have Rain Dragon monitor the chat on Instagram and let me know if anybody asks anything over there and then he can get it over to me. Isn't that right, Rain Dragon? They say, I just put all this work on Rain Dragon because he got me into all this stuff. He's like, you re need to really start a second channel and do wrestling stuff, man. And so now I am. So whenever I'm in a spot, I just put it onto, I put it onto Rain Dragon. Is Mercedes Monet better as a heel? I think so. I think Monet does her best work as a heel, from what I've noticed. Oh, Dynamite tonight is insanely stacked. Oh my god, what a stat card for Dynamite. It is absolutely nuts. All these matches are good. No, Rain Dragon. Okay, I cannot see the people on Instagram. What's going on on Instagram? We got people over there? Does it, were there any questions? Oh, that's mean about Monet. Look, I think she's cut two very kind of WWE style promos, which is fine. You know, that's what she comes from. I don't want to say they're awful. I like the presentation, though. I've gone on record saying that I like her presentation. I like the song. I like everything she's doing. I think it's a great presence that she has this match is going on forever i was just about to say this is like one of the longer matches i've ever seen and young bucks win the entire tournament the young bucks win the tournament that might be what happens who knows Oh, that's awesome. Hey, everybody on Instagram. I'm sorry I can't see the chat. I'll have uh, Rain Dragon relay anything to me that you guys say. Right, Rain Dragon? I'm just putting this on him. Don't type too much. I mean, or do. I don't know. Put him to work. He can cut and paste, maybe. Yeah, Swerve versus Takeshita followed by Osprey and Shibata. It's crazy. Oh, we are definitely going to see that. Tri no, he's not going to Tiger Driver Shibata, is he? Like, Shibata's got like a broken neck, doesn't he? Don't Tiger Driver Shibata. If he die, if he, if Osprey puts a Tiger Driver on Shibata, every, the audience is going to die. We'll literally die of fright. You can't do that to us. That would not be legal. Would not be right. Would not be right at all. Please no.
Do you think we'll get an AEW all in or oh like the Wembley? Do you think we'll get Wembley Arena? I don't know. I don't know if we'll get Wembley Arena. I don't think we will actually. They seem to have a problem with displaying too big of a crowd, so I don't I don't really see it happening. Yeah, when when the child when the crowd picked up uh, Monet's song, it definitely helped it out. If it if nobody picked it up, if people weren't hyped for it, then it wouldn't work. But people got people got behind it, so it was good. I like the new Osprey thing. That's new, right? Where everybody yells Osprey. God, that's awesome. God, that's awesome. I don't remember that going on. The cult of Osprey is going to be strong this year. Oh my God, that dude is going to be the face of AEW for a long time. <laughs> There's one question. There's a... That's the question on Instagram, Rain Dragon. Look, I'm going to let you handle that one over there, okay? <laughs> Do better with your questions, Instagram. Ask wrestling questions. You're killing me, man. I figured out how to go live on Instagram so that I could interact with my wrestling fans. Look at my Instagram. It is 100% wrestling content. What is happening? Uh, Julia Hart, you think uh, Mercedes Monet is going after Julia Hart's title? Uh, yeah, she... Let's see if the computer is good enough to uh, make this fight interesting. All right, fans, here we go. An exciting match. Standing by. Uh, Statlander's been kind of... Statlander's had a, had a weird run since she came back from injury. She came in strong. Hold on, now I'm... Okay, my frame rate was going weird. I'm trying to... I'm pushing my computer, man. I'm streaming on three different platforms. I'm playing AEW Fight Forever. I'm running multiple live chats. I'm... I'm this computer is being taxed. I should probably be running Fight Forever on a different computer, to, to be quite honest with you. But we're, we're doing our best. You know, I do have another computer upstairs... I might consider bringing that down. I'm going to think about that. Heel turn for Statlander. I'm kind of for it. I think that would be great. It would be interesting to see Statlander get a heel, heel turn. It's being teased with Stokely, right? We got kind of a stable going on. Nightingale and Statlander. Kind of weird. Yeah, I, I like that stable of Statlander, Willow, and Stokely. I think that's a really fun matchup. Oh, damn, a buckle bomb. I don't know if I've seen one of those. The CPU is vicious. You going to do another one? No, shut down. Anna Jay's coming back. Yeah, they might turn in this match. You think Nightingale's going to work heel? Nightingale working heel against Monet in, in a uh, at Dynasty? That'd be kind of kind of wild. I don't see that coming. It's possible, I guess. Instagram says Willow is winning tonight. I I agree with that. I I think Willow's winning tonight. I think that's my pick as well. I'd like to see Sky Blue get a push, but I think she's already kind of been pushed enough. She's she's done really well. They've really elevated Sky Blue up up from Jobber. Sky Blue a year ago, solid Jobber, right? Like not a bad wrestler at all, but definitely jobbing out. Now, going in in the big matches. I think she's been in in around every women's match for like a long time now 
She's been working a match on one of the big shows every week. Been getting a lot, a lot of push. Got an image makeover, new song. Everything, hey guys, remember a year ago when I was talking about how Sky Blue was going to get this evolution and look what's happened. We're absolutely there now. I totally called that. I called the shit out of that one. I'm happy it happened. I'm glad they didn't just stick with that lame, like, schoolgirl fucking routine. That was insane. This is so much better. I couldn't believe Anna J took that loss on Collision. They brought in some uh, Joshi from Stardom, and Anna J fucking ate a loss on that. That was wild. Is she even going to be around? Like, what was that about? I mean, honestly, like, if we're going to be honest, the person that should win this four-way is Anna J. Just for fucking duration of being with the company. I mean, has she ever even been in a main event? Like, not a main event, a pay-per-view. Has Anna J been on a pay-per-view in a match? I think she should go. How many? Oh! Anna J with the Queen Slayer on the outside. Hell yeah, Anna J. See, that's what I'm talking about. I'd kind of be here for it if Anna J won. I think that'd be great. It'll probably be Willow, though. I'll give it to Willow on that. How many match cards can I see happening for AEW All in London on August 25th? I don't know how many matches they're going to have on the card. I would assume, you know, about the same as last time. I wouldn't assume less. And probably a big pre-show. It's going to be a big show. AEW and Stardom are now a uh, a super duo. But that was like the first match that they did together, right? I don't know. It was weird. It was weird seeing Julia Hart just basically just get destroyed. Whoa, should all in and all out be combined into a two day back to back kind of thing? I don't know. I mean, they want to run them in two different cities, though. Like, All Out is kind of a Chicago thing. Like, that's the whole point of it, is it, they run it in Chicago. All In, they run in London. All Out in Chicago. They don't, they're don't. they not really switching venues for these pay-per-views very much, right? Double or Nothing's always in Vegas. All Out always in Chicago, All In, now it's always in Wembley. I, I don't know. Oh, I wouldn't say never, man. I would never say never when it comes to wrestling. What was that goofball WrestleMania? WrestleMania 2 they did in three different cities at once. I don't think they'll do that. <laughs> That was a horrible idea. Don't do that. I wish this game had more current wrestlers in it so we could simulate more matches. That's kind of a fun thing to do while we do this live stream. But uh, this game's missing a lot of characters. Okay. Imagine this game will never get Mercedes Monet. Monet's gonna headline like everything and she'll never be in this game. We need uh, Fight Forever Part 2. I feel like running something with Swerve. 
We don't even have Samoa Joe. Yo, let's send Swerve and Hangman into the exploding barbed wire deathmatch. Because we can. I don't know why. Swerve needs more gear. I like Swerve's gear. He does not have enough looks in this game. Where is Adam Page? There we go. He's only got the one look too, right? Yeah. Sad. Adam Page has some cool gear too. Let's do the exploding barbed wire death match in the home of the expo I mean it feels like the exploding barbed wire death match should have happened at uh, full gear instead of revolution Feels like a full gear match to me I don't know full gear is always my favorite AEW pay-per-view at least historically though I don't know it, uh, w uh, all in is amazing the following contest is an exploding that's probably going to be replaced by All In. I like the big stadium show. The big stadium show is where it's at. Yeah, they just confirmed double or nothing in, in uh, Vegas again. I mean, I thought All Out was pretty garbage last year. It, it shouldn't have been garbage, but I, it, it wasn't great. I don't want to say garbage. Look, I enjoy everything AEW does. What I mean is, it's not the show it should have been. Things went very wrong for All Out last year. I feel like they need to make it up to Chicago. All Out should definitely be an apology show this year. I don't know what they could do, but they should do it. They should figure out what they can do and then do that. Oh, these guys are already bleeding. Now, unfortunately, I don't think Hangman can drink Swerve's blood. I don't think they have the. Oh my god! Standing moonsault, dude. That was dope. The computer absolutely plays this game better than I do. Halloween Havoc was always in Vegas. That's cool. I didn't know that. Oh my god, this is nuts. You know, I haven't seen the Barbed Wire Deathmatch in a minute, and it's kind of great. I forget how cool this match is. It's actually better when I'm not playing it. I enjoy seeing what kind of uh, shenanigans they get up to. When I'm playing it, I play it too much the same way every time. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to walk them around. I'll throw them into every, you know, table. I'll throw them into the ropes. This feels more uh, interesting somehow. Oh! That's what it should have looked like, guys. If you don't know, that's what it should have looked like when the ring exploded. So the WCW pay-per-views had like set down venues. That's wild. Here, I'm definitely getting some slowdown now. I'm going to see if I can clean that up. I think if I minimize and restart, I think that does it. Okay. I just kind of minimized my window and brought it back. And now I should be okay. Yeah, I think, I think that caused my uh, slowdown to go away. See Rain Dragon, do we got anything going on in the Instagram? What's going out there for the Instagram people? Hey, Instagram people, um, make sure you follow the page if you haven't already. We're doing weekly Instagram content. Make sure if you're here on one of the other platforms, you go check me out on Instagram. Swerve Strickland's your winner. 
course he is. When do we think Swerve Strickland's going to take that belt? Is it going to happen at Dynasty? What is Samoa Joe doing at Dynasty? Is he losing to Swerve? Is it time? I don't know where to go with this next. I'm trying to think if there's any other matches we can uh, we can simulate here, but we're kind of running out of matches. I like that idea of. Um, we could do something kind of goofy over here. So one idea proposed by the chat, which I thought was interesting, was MJF returning. A returning MJF who would then team up with Wardlow. That would be wild to see these guys back together. I should set up a uh, MJF pattern ward Wardlow. I think uh, the undisputed uh, colors are the black and, and white. So there you go. To take on, let's who can I do? I I have an Adam Cole. Does this work? And then uh, you got the other members of the kingdom who are Roderick Strong, Matt Taven, and uh, Mike Bennett. I guess Roderick Strong would be Adam Cole's teammate. Now we don't have we don't have Roderick Strong. We don't have Red Dragon in here either, which is kind of weird. We don't have Bobby Fish. We don't have O'Reilly. I could see O'Reilly getting involved. What's O'Reilly doing now that he's back? That was a big moment on Collision as well from a week ago. Was O'Reilly's return and victory. I don't know. I guess Britt Baker. <laughs> there you go, Britt Baker. He can team up with Britt Baker for the purposes of this thought experiment. That's all I got, boys. I'm making do. I'm making do. I'm doing what I can. Maybe that goes down to double or nothing. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I like it. Is it's interesting. What an exciting tag team match this is going to be. Making their way to the ring, Maxwell Jacob Friedman and J. Yeah, I, I think that uh, I, I don't know if having I. All right, so Samoa Joe is champion. I like Samoa Joe as champion. I think Samoa Joe is great. I think Samoa Joe is a legend. I don't think there's anything wrong with having Samoa Joe as champion. However, it is not very exciting or sexy, right? Samoa Joe is champion. I don't really know if. It's not as exciting as MJF. MJF as champion felt like really unique and interesting and exciting. And there was storytelling and it was historic and it felt vital. It felt necessary to the landscape of wrestling. You know, Samoa Joe feels like a good champion. Will Ospreay would be an amazing champion. Swerve Strickland. Would be an amazing champion. Are, how long are we going to wait to pull the trigger on that? We're not going to pull the WWE business. Where, Stur uh, where Swerve Strickland is trying to finish his story for like three years, right? My chat feels that Joe is a holding pattern because Cole got hurt. I mean, I feel that. It 
was Adam Cole's time to take the belt, right? Had Adam Cole not got hurt, we would have Adam Cole as champion right now. We would probably have gold on all of the Undisputed Kingdom. Is that is that probably where we were headed, but things got kind of derailed? Oh, Shibata versus Osprey tonight is going to be amazing. I can't wait to see everyone lose their mind over it. And don't forget about Takeshita and Swerve. Takeshita has been putting on higher rated matches than anybody. This year, it's been off the chart. I feel like Cole could come back soon. I mean, I haven't seen him limping around. They've been keeping him off of TV, but he's doing those vignettes. I kind of think he might be coming back soon. Yeah, I don't know what they have in mind for Wardlow. I trust that they have something in mind for Wardlow. It is definitely weird, his spot in the kingdom. But it's intentional. He's intentionally not fitting in. They're doing something. You know, that was clear from the first promo that he was not part of the group or he was on the outside of it. So something's going on there. I don't know what, but something. I don't think it helped that Wardlow got a bit injured either. I think his injury has messed things up too. Because uh, when, when he injured his knee, he said that, you know, he's fine. But then the doctor was saying, like, he's not fine. So I think in storyline, he's fine. I think in actuality, he needs to recover that knee. No way Adam Cole wins this with Britt Baker. Get out of here. Get out of here, Adam Cole. MJF coming back is going to be epic. I'm waiting for that moment. They've really brought out some big guns without MJF around, though. Okada, Osprey, it's nuts. Thing's final match. I mean, they a lot of space opened up when MJF got injured for them to do a lot of other high profile stuff. Swerve stepped up in lieu of MJF. It's kind of interesting to see how much AEW shifted when MJF had to take a step away. Wait, people are talking on X? <laughs> I'm live on X right now. Hi, everybody on X. Hi, one person on... I have no idea how many people are on X. It's unfortunate that my multi-stream uh, console here only shows me uh, YouTube and Twitch. It should really show me Instagram chatters. I'm sorry, I can't see you out there. I know you're there, though. And I appreciate you. I highly appreciate my Instagram audience. You're like my best audience for, for daily content. You guys show up for all of it, and I appreciate that. Yeah, you want to keep MJF a secret. You want to keep that under wraps, man. You don't want people to know when that's going to happen. That's going to be a big return. The place is going to go nuts when that music hits. 
Especially if they pick a real choice moment for it. It's too good. He's done such a good job, too, not being around. Just letting people think whatever they want about it. It's genius. Sometimes doing nothing is really smart. Some people out there are just talking too damn much. How is Britt Baker just manhandling Wardlow? Oh my god. Oh my god. Britt Baker is going to win with the lockjaw on Wardlow? Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. No. No, she does not win. I don't know how he got out of it. Double team on Adam Cole. This match is stupid. I don't think they should do this one. I don't know how I feel about MJF and Warlow versus Adam Cole and whoever. I don't know if that's hot. I know MJF versus Adam Cole is a good match. We want to see that again. The blood feud. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with uh, secrecy and wrestling and why the people that leak stuff continue to be employed. I have no idea. I don't know why the wrestling industry doesn't have more fun with the dirt sheets and just leak lies to them more often and make them look stupid. I guess they value them way too much. I think that's the problem is that the wrestling has a weird symbiotic relationship with uh, the wrestling journalists. Yeah, it does suck that Kenny Omega had to pretty much go on indefinite leave due to his medical condition. Um, and yeah, it's really unknown whether he'll ever be back. I assume that he'll return a year from now. And that'll be a great return. I hope he gets... I, I almost... I, I, I'm worried that he wouldn't get the response that an MJF is going to get. I know the roof's going to come off for MJF. I hope the roof comes off for Kenny Omega. I hope people appreciate him. I'm hoping that when he returns, if, hopefully when he returns, people appreciate Kenny, uh, Kenny Omega in a way that they haven't since, you know, 2015. I, I guess 2018. 2018 was Kenny Omega's year. He was as hot he, as he was ever going to be, and then he just got so much backlash. It's almost like people are like, I don't know, ashamed to like them, which is weird. Oh, please run Okada and Omega back in an AW ring. That's like gotta happen, right? Omega versus Okada in AW? Shit. <laughs> I keep saying it, but if you haven't watched the original three matches between Omega and Okada that happened in New Japan, you got to watch that shit. I don't know if you can call yourself a wrestling fan and not watch that shit, guys. It's crazy how many people haven't watched that. It's literally insane. That's a good question, uh, chat. So, have we gained more people in AW uh, Fight Forever DLC than we've lost from the company since the game dropped? I don't know if we have. <laughs> Omega as a heel versus, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Okada as a heel versus Omega as a face. We never saw that, right? 
Wardlow wins. I'm glad Wardlow was able to pin Britt Baker for the win. That'd be, uh, that'd be good. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the Wardlow MJF team. It feels kind of weird. I don't know if that's where we're headed. That would be interesting, though. I know one place we should be headed is like, you know, the blood feud between MJF and Adam Cole. That's definitely something that we should be seeing. Yeah, I think that's destined to happen. Is an exploding they should run back the exploding barbed wire death, death match for MJF uh, versus Adam match. Cole too. His way to the Don't have to do something violent for it. It can't just be a regular match. And his opponent, Jacob Friedman, I would I would see it being something violent. Oh, and the Bucks would be in Okada's corner. Wow, so different. What an interesting, like, chapter on that story. You could have the Bucks in Okada's corner, and you could have um, Ibushi in Omega's corner. Really wild. Maybe Hangman, too. Who knows? Really weird. I hope Roman Reigns ends up in AEW, man. That would be wild. I hope everybody gets to move around. I got in trouble the other day on Instagram. Instagram people, you'll enjoy this. I got in trouble. Um, I, I'm new to the Instagram audience. I don't know how it works. And I didn't know you couldn't edit your comments. Because sometimes I leave a comment and I'm like, oh, I didn't word that quite right. I kind of type impulsively. And then I go back and I fix it, right? I like that about the edit function on a comment where I can say something and be like, you know, quickly and then be like, oh, I didn't quite mean that. So somebody said, uh, had a post out about, you know, Finn Balor and AJ Styles. Like, oh, I hope they get to go to AEW and do things. And I made a post something to the effect of, yeah, you know, they should be able to have fun. And I got in so much shit. I had multiple people telling me, how dare I imply that they're not having fun right now. It's not what I meant. It's not what I meant at all. I didn't mean to imply that that AJ Styles and Finn Balor aren't having fun where they're... I don't know how the fuck they're doing. I, I don't know them. All I was insane... It's historically when people come to AEW from WWE, they talk about how much fun they have and how much a creative freedom they have and this and that and the other. And you know what? It goes the other way too. Because when CM Punk went to WWE, he's talking about how great it is and how well he fits in and how much fun he's having. So I think either way, if you're having a bad time in AEW or you're having a bad time in WWE, I hope that the wrestler is fortunate to be able to switch companies or go have an amazing career on the independence or whatever they want to do. But yeah, I, 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 I didn't successfully convey that in one sentence on, you know, some random Tuesday. So I apologize for that. But yes, I, I hope that Roman Reigns does come to AEW and have a blast. I think you could have a lot of fun with that. It would be weird. Reunite with John Moxley. What the fuck? Let's go. I hope Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins end up in AEW and reform the Shield because why the fuck not? One, two, Cena in AEW? Yeah, why the hell not, man? Cena's fun. Dude, Cena in ECW was amazing. Just happened the once, but it was great.
I don't really have a problem with wrestlers. Oh, Adam Cole wins. That would be a disappointment. I don't think anyone wants to see Adam Cole beat a returning MJF. That would be a feel-bad moment for sure. Jesus. <laughs> AW fight forever. You're wrong. Roman Reigns versus Will Ospreay. Roman Reigns versus Will Ospreay might be the worst match I've ever seen in my life, though. I don't know. I guess Osprey could flip all around and land whatever he wanted on Roman Reigns. I'll say Roman Reigns is a very good target. People like to land on him and shit. So maybe it'd be good. What WWE person that wasn't there at the start of AEW actually made a difference besides CM Punk? I think Sasha Banks is making a difference. I think Mercedes Monet is making a difference. We don't know yet, though. Swerve Strickland. I got to say, right off the bat, Swerve Strickland, he's ex-WWE. He's made a difference. He's made a huge impact. Brian Danielson has done plenty of impactful things coming into the company. I, I think the WWE got Sting. <laughs> Does Sting count? I think you only really have that problem over on the women's side. Like Ruby Soho coming in. I mean, Tony Storm. Fuck. I don't know, guys. Tony Storm is amazing. I mean, who knows? What if Roman Reigns comes to AEW and hangs out with the BCC and John Moxley and learns a whole bunch of, like, you know, wrestling moves? What if that happens, though? That could happen, right? Athena, there's another one that made a big difference by coming to AEW. Yeah, I think a lot of a, a lot of WWE people have come over to AEW and just done great things. Just done amazing things with it. Um, yeah, I think most of these people that we're talking about were main roster. I don't think we're talking about NXT people. Adam Cole never went to the main roster, right? He came from NXT right to AEW. He was set to go to the main roster, and I believe he talked to Triple H, and Triple H was like, ah, maybe you should go to AEW. <laughs> look, I can't hate on Roman Reigns. I mean, look, chat, chat's got a point. I think chat's got a point on both sides of it. Okay. Roman Reigns and his matches are entertaining. It's interesting. Also, not great. Okay? Also, not great. I would take an Omega versus Osprey any day over, you know, Roman Reigns versus most people. Roman Reigns versus Cody at WrestleMania. They did good work there. I mean, they had you on the edge of your seat. Was it, uh, you know, a spectacle? Uh, I don't know. It was a different kind of thing, right? It was very good, though. I think the best Roman Reign Reigns match I've seen recently was Roman Reigns versus Cody at WrestleMania. I was very good. That was a riveting, interesting match. And I'm ready for them to run it back. I'm not mad at it. Now, Cody's going to lose that match. I hope everybody here knows that Cody's going to lose that match. I hope you are all prepared. And I speak as the biggest Cody crybaby, dude. I literally cry about Cody. I'm not afraid to admit it. He's losing that match.
and I don't I don't agree. Chat chat's gone way off now. I I absolutely do not agree that uh, that Osprey versus Omega were pointless flips. That that match was nuts. I can't remember one pointless flip in that match. I mean, look, Osprey definitely will throw in a little extra athletics for like no reason. But that's Osprey, and that's great. I'm glad he can do that. Hi, Conte used to be in the WWE. That's crazy. I had no idea. I thought Ty Conte was um, an AW original. I thought she came from like a judo background. I didn't know she was in the WWE. I don't know when doing a backflip does make sense in a in a fighting match. I don't I think it's more about the circus. I enjoy matches like the Young Bucks versus Lucha Brothers. Like the ladder match they had because it was a circus act. And I'm fine with that. It didn't need to make sense. They they did so many spots in the Lucha Brothers versus Young Bucks that ladder match back in 2019, I think it was, that made no sense. But I can't forget that match. That match was so cool. They were literally doing moves like on... Like one of the Lucha Brothers and one of the Young Bucks would team up to do a move. Like it just didn't make any sense at all. But it was so great. I don't mind. I don't mind that stuff at all. It doesn't bother me one bit. I'll agree that if Roman Reigns comes into AEW, he would add something very different. And that's kind of what I'm excited to see with uh, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks is a different kind of worker than most of the women that they have in there. It's going to be interesting to watch her work a match with Willow or anybody. It's different to watch Brian Danielson work a match with people. Brian Danielson's style is different than a lot of other people on the roster. It's very cool. I I love matches that are just like circus shows, though. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't uh, shy away from that, you know, outlaw mud show bullshit thing. I like outlaw mud show bullshit. I like that. I got no problem with that. It's not a problem. I think it's great. I think it's good. It doesn't offend me. I think I get uh, I get annoyed when wrestling takes itself a little too seriously. I didn't like the WWE trend of bringing in all the MMA guys and then having the champion be, you know, Brock Lesnar, just an MMA fighter. Like, oh, he's a real tough guy. Like, okay. How fun is that? You know, I think Brock Lesnar was his most fun when he's dressing up like a cowboy and driving a tractor around and not like, you know, hanging out with Vince McMahon. That's the best that Brock Lesnar is for me. This authentic tough guy thing. If I wanted that, I would go watch, you know, UFC. It's not what I want at all. I want to see the drama kids have fun. load things down yeah I don't think I have any more matches to simulate and um, and fight forever I got nothing left there boys they gotta update that game they gotta work on a solid update for AW fight forever I tell you that
But I'm very excited for this uh, card tonight on Dynamite. I think it's going to be a great show. I think it's a great era of AEW. It is an interesting year. You know, I, I made a video about it, about how many, um, you know, what kind of challenges they were going into this year in AEW. With so many of the top stars out, and they're still out. You know, CM Punk was fired. Kenny Omega's injured. MJF is injured. Adam Cole is injured. And they've had to kind of create a new AEW, and I think it's a great AEW. It's the AEW that features Will Ospreay, Swerve Strickland. Okada, the Young Bucks are taking like a more main event kind of seat, which is fun. The Young Bucks are phenomenal. I mean, the match they did with Sting, I mean, I, I think everybody agrees that was great. I really hope that after watching that, people aren't mad anymore that, that Sting wanted to do his final match with the Young Bucks because it was phenomenal. It was a great match. Yeah, I think Randy Orton could be really fun in AEW. Like I said, I think everybody could be really fun in AEW. I don't think there's anybody in another wrestling. Because I see that a lot online. People are like, not this guy. I never want to see him in my company, whether it be one way or the other way. And I just, I don't feel that way. I'm happy to see any AEW person go over to WWE. Any WWE person, I'm excited to see him come over to AEW. Whatever works out the best for him. Oh, so Ty Conte was in NXT, not WWE. I mean, you know, it's it's the same thing. I'm fine with that. It's the same thing for me. I don't I don't think NXT and WWE are really that different. It's like saying like, oh, they're in Ring of Honor and not AEW. I'm like, that's pretty much the same thing. Oh, Swerve's like a next level kind of situation. You want, I don't think there's going to be a season 27 of AEW Fight Forever, chat. You'll be lucky if you get a season five, okay? Yeah, AEW has done phenomenal for everything that worked, like falling apart. <laughs> Absolutely. Everything they had that was working fell apart, and they and they're doing great with it. And continue to do great with it. They keep having things fall apart. Or oh, Darby Allen's broken right now. That's wild. And even if he wasn't broken, he'd be climbing a mountain. So they were uh, they they were facing that. Just more challenges. I think they'd be really smart to make Will Ospreay the face of the company, him and Sasha Banks, M Mercedes Monet. I can't stop calling her Sasha Banks. It'll take me a minute. I also want to say it so people know who I'm talking about. I feel like if I say Mercedes Monet too much, you're going to be like, who? I think it's going to take a little longer. It was like, now it feels very natural to call Adam Copeland, Adam Copeland. But when he came over, it's like you had to say Edge or else no one would know what you were talking about, right? I felt very weird saying Adam Copeland and, and I just I didn't want to get the who like it's edge. It seems like Christian Cage is looking to take some time off. I mean, his crotch got destroyed, guys. Everybody saw Christian Cage's just just crotch just get annihilated. I don't think he's going to be right. I'm hoping we get like some recovery kind of moments with Christian Cage. I think that would be hilarious. I don't know if we're going to get that though, but that would be great, right? Christian Cage in recovery, like hospital shots. It'd be kind of fun. I kind of think he's just wanting to take some time off though. He did real good. That title run was amazing.
I hope that if Christian Cage is taking some time off, they don't drop the ball on Luchasaurus and Nick Wayne, though. Those guys are great, too. I feel like we haven't seen enough of Nick Wayne. I guess he got a match not too long ago. I hope they keep up with those guys. I hope that uh, Christian Cage not being around doesn't like hurt their uh, momentum. I mean, all right, we got an elephant in the room with Luchasaurus. Uh, what's going on with Jack Perry? I've seen a lot of speculation about Jack Perry and his status and where he stands with Tony Khan and what's going on with that. Can we expect a return from Jack Perry anytime soon? Or is he going to be stuck like in New Japan, in jail, exiled? How long is Jack Perry going to be exiled for pissing off CM Punk and Tony Khan? I'd like to see Jack Perry back. I thought he was doing good things. You know, I talked about that, how I thought that match at All In was actually rather good. I thought the match between him and Hook was great. Hollywood Jack Perry was amazing. Jack Perry at Forbidden Door would be great. I'm actually, I, I got to look for... Forbidden Door might be one of the most exciting pay-per-views they're going to put on this year with all this New Japan stuff going on. I mean, yeah, people were making jokes about Tony Khan buying the New Japan DLC pack, and he really did. He's got Will Ospreay. He's got Jay White. He's got Okada. I can't believe we spent this whole time not talking about Jay White. What's up with that? Are our trios champion going to be at the Ring of Honor pay-per-view? So little has been announced for the Ring of Honor pay-per-view. I have no idea what's going on there. Are the Kingdom going to be there? Are the Ring of Honor's trios champions going to be there? What is happening at the Ring of Honor pay-per-view? Supercard of Honor is, is a big show. Historically, they put on some big stuff there. Supercard of Honor is the Ring of Honor pay-per-view where Cody and Omega first fought before the creation of AEW. The, the last Ring of Honor Supercard before the creation of AEW featured Cody versus Omega, which I don't think ever happened once inside of AEW. I believe the only place that Cody ever fought Omega was on that Supercard of Honor and Ring of Honor. I just watched it recently. That was crazy. Yo, I appreciate that, Perry. I got people in the chat saying when they become a professional wrestler, they're going to sign with AEW. And do interviews for me. I we, we are talking to some AW wrestlers. I am hoping to have them on the show. I would say more specifically, but I sound like a crazy person when I talk about it. So I, I, I try not to talk about it. But everybody I've ever talked to, I'm still talking to. These things are still going through the motions. And I hope it comes to fruition soon. I've been putting out less videos on my second channel, on this channel. Um kind of doing a rebrand from the AW Fight for Everything. I made a very conscious decision to stop covering wrestling video games. This is not going to be a wrestling video game channel. I just my heart isn't in it. I love AW too much. I just really do. It's it's what I care about. I don't care about wrestling video games. The only time I play Fight Forever is on this stream because I feel like I've got to, or else I, I feel like I'm misrepresenting things right now, but I don't know how long that's going to go on for. Gives me something to, interesting to put on the screen, I guess. Makes for an interesting vertical display. I hope you guys appreciate all the production value going into this. <laughs> there's a Ring of Honor pay-per-view. Yes, there's a Ring of Honor pay-per-view coming up. It's in uh, It's in Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, 
I believe it's next weekend, which is WrestleMania weekend, right? They're going to run a Ring of Honor pay-per-view WrestleMania weekend. Oh, it's on a Friday. I didn't even realize the Ring of Honor pay-per-view was on a Friday. That's wild. Yeah, not enough people know about that. I'm telling you, Ring of Honor, they need to do stuff with me. I'll tell people about it. I'll be the Ring of Honor channel. I'll tell you all about Ring of Honor. I hope they announce some of that tonight on Dynamite. Because they really haven't announced much. We know we're going to get Athena versus Sheeta. That's like your main event. Maybe. I don't know. Is that going to be the main event? I, I guess so. The Ring of Honor champion is Eddie Kingston. Except he's not on the damn show. None of the Ring of Honor champions are on the show. What is up with that? It's crazy that the Ring of Honor champions do not show up on the Ring of Honor show. Just put the belt back on Dalton Castle, please. Can we get Ring of Honor belts back on Dalton Castle? Okay, and Eddie is going to be on the pay-per-view. He's going against Mark Briscoe. That's right. And that match is going to be amazing. That's going to be violent. That should be the main event. I don't know. That might be. I don't know what they're going to do. That match is going to be nuts, though. Th that's like some blood feuds. I don't. They're not even doing a blood feud. They're doing it like a tribute to Jay Briscoe. So I feel it's going to be very violent. I don't know if those guys know how to put a tribute together that isn't violent. It'll be extremely violent, and then they'll shake hands is what they'll do. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, I watch Ring of Honor every week as well, and there really has been some some good spots to it. It it has been a very good show. I enjoy watching Ring of Honor. It's not a bad time. They're running a tournament now too for the uh, the television uh, women's television belt, which they got fun of for starting up. But I think it's a good thing. They they really feature women's wrestling much better on Ring of Honor than they do in AEW. Yeah, Eddie runs promos on Ring of Honor, but he hasn't been wrestling there. Dalton should be able to finally get to uh, wrestle Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Johnny TV. Not Johnny Wrestling, Johnny TV. Oh, Dalton is absolutely the best part of Ring of Honor. Has been for a long time, though. Like I said, that that same super card of honor that had um, Cody versus Omega, the main event was uh, Dalton Castle. Yeah, Dalton's the best man. On Instagram, I uh, I invited Dalton Castle out for cheese fondue. About 30 minutes away from where they're going to be at in Philadelphia, there's a nice fondue restaurant. I invited him to it. If you want to jump on my Instagram post real fast and just uh, let him know that he should take me up on that offer, I appreciate that. We will be filming the whole thing, of course, uh, given his permission and getting that on the channel. Hey, don't knock it. Crazier things have happened, right? We're trying. We're trying. Uh, no, on this stream, wait, whoa, whoa, we do get, we do get chatters from X, everybody, it does happen, wait, hold, stop everything, there is someone here from Twitter slash X, hello, sir, hello, chatter from X slash Twitter, it's great to see you. 
I'm actually on like multiple platforms right now. I'm on YouTube. I'm on uh, Instagram. I'm on, I'm, I have a pretty big amount of viewers across all these platforms, but my, I do have one person watching me on, uh, on Twitter. I, I'm so happy to see you. Hi. No, I do not stream the actual show. In fact, we're probably about to wrap up here in a few minutes, but it's good to see you. We do this stream every Wednesday before Dynamite. We just kind of talk about the card. I usually play some AW Fight Forever on that that screen up there. But I'm just kind of blown away that that came through because I got people on Instagram too and, and I can't see them. But I can see you on Twitter slash X, which I didn't think I would get anybody from there. So that's crazy. That's wild. I think I'm the only one that can see you too. Uh, other people can't see your comment, but he says, sorry if it's obvious, but on this stream, do you stream tonight's dynamite? No, I, I, I do not. Um, I'm, I think I've reached a level now where if I start streaming dynamite, it would jeopardize my ability to interview people from the company. <laughs> That's kind of a no, no, uh, to stream stuff like that. So I, I don't do it because uh, I, I hope to be in good with AEW and Ring of Honor and interview their wrestlers. So far, so good. Some of that stuff should be coming up. But I th I would jeopardize that if I were to stream the actual show. Back in the day, I did kind of stream it a little bit here and there. Kind of, sort of, in the background. But uh, I don't want to mess with that right now. We've become way too legitimate at this point. There are some people out there that stream it, you know, low key. But they don't mind if their accounts get like, you know, blasted or whatever. All right, everybody, I think that's going to do it for the stream tonight. I've run out. I want to make sure that you can go watch AW Dynamite. This has been a wonderful multi-stream. It has been so enjoyable talking to you out there on Twitch and on YouTube and on Instagram, and even on X slash Twitter. I can't believe we actually got someone live high again. Um, and I'm really glad we got it worked out. We're able to stream on Instagram this week. Make sure you check out my content on YouTube. Uh, Mr. Hartgrave from Parts Unknown. We're on YouTube. I've got my long-form videos on there that I spend a lot of time on. And then, as always, every day I have some content that I'm putting on Instagram I'm trying to grow that as well because it's just easier to get views there. But my main focus is still YouTube. I will have a review of the best and worst matches of Dynamite on my YouTube channel either tomorrow or the day after. So stay tuned for that. I look forward to next week as well. We are going to keep doing this stream every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check out those other uh, YouTube videos. I implore you, if you've made it this far and you've missed some of my YouTube videos, check them out. They're all, it's, it, a lot of effort goes into them. So if you can uh, check them out, give them a like, a comment, a share. It helps support the channel and so that we can do bigger things. I'm, I'm excited about what we're going to do this year. And I'm excited about what AEW is going to do this year.